Side Maiden and Experience. I kind of figure they'll be playing the Chronics, the Cross Onyx. That seems to be their big uh, decision, and looks like we're getting into it. Game number one. Yeah, they they generally play this comp a lot. Like the, that Onyx is so nice on the side of Experience. He and his cannon. That's how he makes the put the pressure on you. He's so relentless. Oh, the grab oh, oh, oh. out. Can he finish it? He West got the got weapon the wall toss, toss, but that toss and made trying to cover, oh. but West got past it. Okay, still a nice lead for the red team. Yeah, May just couldn't figure out where to press the button. He was being really patient about it, like, okay, can, I can't dare him, I can't, I can't ground pound. He couldn't find himself. He let him back up, but the ground pound from experience will go ahead and clean that bad boy up. Strong lead for the red team. This is what we were talking about. Who swings out the gate first? It looks like Maiden Experience are the ones to start it off, but will Wes and Sack have what it takes to bring this one back? Nice downlight side air. Keeps the pressure on this red team. Down Sid covers that high movement from Maiden. I like how they played that. They were covering the high ground with the plat and the moving plat, and then uh, you had the low ground covered by Sack. So that was clean, and they got some good damage on now. They haven't really been touched on their second stocks. Oh, no. Friendly fire. As I say, that good save from Maid. Trying to close it out. Nice. Downlight recovery does not KO. <laughs> I can't tell if Experience knew that wasn't going to KO or if he was just like, I don't care if it does, because he sat on the left side while Maid was getting caught there. He's like, I'm not going to approach too much. I don't want to throw this stock as well as that one. Right, for sure. Oh, tried to go for the downlight. Okay, Maid on the side, loses his teammate now. Can he get back on? No, he cannot. Downlight into the side air is going to close out stock. Good play from Sack there going in. Hits that gravity cancel downlight into the side air. May trying to open him up. Gets the recovery onto West, but that's a Sir Roland, one of the highest defense legends in the game. Oh, yeah, for sure. And then the Onyx out here is definitely high, high uh, defense. And man, so even after not taking too much damage and, and getting those stocks off, look at the lead that they created once again. Made an experience holding on and making sure that they keep control, control the pace of this match. Tries to go out there. Oh, he tried to use the land the Nair. I thought we were going to see a, a stolen stock in a, in a moment, but he decided to go another route with it. Oh, nope, my gosh. No, he still might is. steal. There it he is. He still might steal. He He's going to get it. Though. He gets what? back. <laughs> the Nair to chase Dodge up. Maid is putting pressure out, but Maid's the one who's going to fall. Experience and Maid have three stocks to the one of Wes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I spoke it into fruition. He came out there. He didn't get it at first, but then that weapon tossed into some nice combinations. Getting up out of there. Oh, man. Okay, team combo didn't work, but, I mean, there's not too much more Wes can do in this match. Weapon toss, he's going to dodge through. Side air and down. Oh, oh, okay. Didn't get the ground pound. Side air will do it anyway. Downlight side air definitely easier to input, so depending on how you hit that downlight, it might just be safer to throw that one out. Uh, and with with the lead they had, they're like, right, we, we can play, this with, play with this one a little more. Yeah, make him waste his resources. All right, that's what he was essentially doing. He hit him with the first downlight side air. He had already hit him with something before that. So all he had left was a dodge and the um, and the extra jump he got from being from being hit. So it was pretty much over. Nice side air, closed it out. Red team taking it, made an experience Three, up two, one game. We're getting one, into game number two. Wrong. An explosive start for the North Americans. Wes and Sack, they gotta find a way to bring this momentum back in their favor. I want to see what Wes can do. He's, he's, he's going over there and he wants to mess with uh, experience, but I don't think that's how you want to start your game. Experience is going to carry you off to the side and one wrong move, you will be down a stock. I mean, a lot of damage on his homie, so he's got to come over to help, but you, you want to apply some kind of pressure on him, but don't fall into his trap is what I'm saying. Dude, uh, I don't know if you play a lot of FPSs, but there's a thing called ego peeking where you know someone's looking at a corner, but you still check it anyways because because <laughs> you think that you're better. And that's kind of what's happening here is is West versus Experience. He's like, he's egoing against Experience a little bit. That is funny because I play a lot of FPSs and I didn't know that was a turn. Oh my goodness, what a team combo. Are you kidding? The fact that he knew that that was going to catch out of that, like... Who practices that? Dude, they do. This is this is one of the things that makes them such a strong team, is they're able to convert so often, get that extra damage, and lead to those KOs. Potential here for the blue team to clean up Nade's stock, but he got the wall touch. He's back up safe. Nade's movement is so like slow and paced, but he, he's so hard to oh, touch. Oh, oh, oh the my. Interrupt. That's what I'm talking about. Come through and save the homie. Not going to allow him to get that final blow. The side air will do it that time. Nair going to hit from. Oh, oh, he still touches. Good coverage from West there, keeping Sack alive. They need to keep these stocks. Experience is wild, dude. Like, he knew that was his last resource. His teammates sitting there watching you, and you just burned that for a gravity cancel. And he still made it back. Like, that's. <laughs> I don't the, understand. The GC how he side sync was definitely a wild decision, and it still worked out. <laughs> Oh, 
Who else but experience? All right, so we got a lot of damage onto the blue team, but they're holding on to these stocks. They're making sure they don't lose. Well, I mean, as I say that, we get that one up out of there. Experience, weapon toss. What they got? Ooh. West gets past. Good dodge from West. Sack comes in, keeps this stock count even. That was clean. That was clean. That's exactly what you needed. Stock for stock. And make sure that this game stays as close as possible. But we have so much damage on the West. Experience and made on the side of the stage. Ground pound coming out from... <gasps> but man, I was getting scared because uh, he was down there with both of them. That was dangerous territory. Able to make it back through. He's still holding on to the second stock. Good positioning coming out from Sack West. Not able to follow up off of that neutral light from Sack, but Sack knows if he falls, it leaves West in the one v two. So he's playing that back position, utilizing that high speed of Brain comes in and experience with the breakup. That was good. The type of plays you need. The glue guy coming through, doing his thing. He's gonna lose that second stock before West, which is wild. Look at how much damage is on him. Side air not gonna hit. Couldn't f finish the combo because he didn't want to take oh. out his homie. But side sig will work from West. Now made left to the 1v2. He could potentially take out West, just needs to hit a recovery. But still, Sack, he can survive a little bit of damage here. And West has another stock behind this. That was down sick, wasn't it? Which one? When West hit him. Either oh, way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at how, I don't, have I ever seen a character this damaged? He's, his, his health bar is almost black. There you go, the side air <laughs> will take it though. All right. Mid, here's your opportunity. Can he get Sack the recovery? Not quite enough. This is what I was talking about. Sack had some health to play with. Okay, here we go. We had a clutch situation. I've, I've seen Made here. He's actually, I've seen him do this. He actually did this on the on the big stage at the World Championship last year in top four. So this is not uh, a strange situation to him. He's been here, but he's really going to have to keep moving the way he's moving. He's doing a great oh. job, but nice combo. A lot of damage coming out there, and the edge guard is going to be nothing. They decide not to come out. He gets on oh. for free, gets a weapon. But the Blasters, that's a hard one to 2v1 with. Nair, okay. nair, nair, and there <laughs> it is. We got game number two going to the blue team. Wes and Sack tying it up one to one. I like how that kind of closed out. You saw for a moment there that both uh, the South Americans covered high. And I think right after that, one of them had to have said, you know what, you take it or I'll take it. And so you saw Wes just playing the uh, the anti-air game after that word. You didn't see Sack coming in also trying to throw out nairs. There wasn't any of this wire crossing. And they were like, all right, you just, you just, you handle your business. And Wes was man he managed to do that. Three, you know what's funny two, though? At all one, levels, it's kind of like that. Because you know, when you're yeah. playing, when you're trying to clutch out, and then you're both trying to just get that final hit, and you're, you're swinging, you're swinging, and then you go, like, sometimes you'll just be the guy to go, hey, look, man, I'm just going to back off. Yeah. I'm going to let you do <laughs> so it. You, you hit this. me like five you. times. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Whoa. Top of the map. Made not able to get that final blow on the sack. You know the red team wanted that explosive start again. Very good start right now. Nate has really been chasing up there in the skies. He's trying to make sure he can get a stolen stock. Trying to take experience to spot. That's what normally what experience does. Wes, ooh, the nice down there. Tried to go for the side air right afterwards, but experience going over the top. And experience playing a little bit more conservative, which is weird to say about experience, but you're not seeing him over aggress as much. Made top of the map does hit the down air on the sack down light. Gets the recovery. Wes not able to interrupt. That was good. Yeah, he was getting hounded by experience. He couldn't come help, and uh, Maid was able to clean up. Now both on the side. Nice there. experience. Listen there. I think that's it. He's not able to make it back. The nice babysitting covering the edge. Oh. Experience couldn't make it back onto the podium. That little lip of corner was not enough for experience, and you saw him nair immediately afterwards, hoping that he could land something on the sack. Experience just whiffing away, trying to do that neutral light. Not clipping anybody. A lot of neutral being played from both teams. A lot more patience out of everybody. I'm not seeing that relentless play I normally see from West. Experience isn't really, he's not dragging people down to the side, but I also think that's because defensively, West and Sack know not to go over there. So it's very smart play on both sides. Yeah, West and Sack, they want to play that neutral game a little bit more right now. They know that's what helped them in game number two. Sack it goes in, gets the punish, and gets away from it. You saw May trying to break it up, and Sack was like, I'm just going to chase dodge after my one hit. Sack's spear play is quietly keeping them in the game. I think that's what one thing that I'm, it's hard to notice, but the way he's controlling everything, look at him. He's backing them off. He's trying to allow West to get a weapon. Get, he helps his teammate get the weapon right there. He ended up getting clipped for it, but back in there with the lance. Nice damage on the experience. Ooh, wow. what experience with that ground pound. West with the turnaround. Down sick, managing to keep the stock count even. And Sack comes in with the interrupt to keep Wes alive. I'm telling you, Sack is always there. He may not come when you want him, but he'll be there right on time. I'm telling you. 
He is Gandalf, but he's <laughs> Gandalf the White now, right? It's, he's a wizard now. <laughs> he's a wizard, Harry. All right. We got experience on the side. Still dancing around, not really doing too much. Going to wait it out until his teammate comes back. Nice movement to not take any damage. Just goes from side to side, coast to coast. And now experience got to get back on, gets blasters. But he's, man, experience got to come over there and hey, I mean, uh, help. He was, he was just waiting for Mate to get set up, right? Wanted Mate to pick up a weapon, but the whole time he's kind of just watching. He's still taking the most damage so far, and this is the most even their set has been. Yeah, nobody's Good got a lead right now. Nice. Oh. oh. Good dodge from Sack to get past that one. Yeah, that was nice. Dodge upwards. Go up through the top because you know experience is going to try to chain you down and take you with a couple loops, a couple hits to take you down to the bottom of the stage. Nice defense. Pogo's good. Ooh. Oh, didn't get the dodge read. You saw him go for the second side light, but Sack got past it. Experience still getting this wall touch made, trying to just keep Wes at bay. Experience doesn't get the handoff there. It's great matchup knowledge from these guys, man. Like, they're not allowing experience to really chain anything together. Like, when he gets a hit, it's just one oh. hit. Nice, but, but he keeps getting multiple hits, so it's still a lot of damage coming out. Oh, oh but Sack gets the hit that matters, and oh. he gets it twice. Two Axe recoveries, and Sack and Wes are up over Maiden Experience. Quietly keeping it together. Look at this guy. Sack is holding it down for the team. You know what? Maybe it's not as quiet as I think. I've just been keeping my eye on Wes a lot. So I'll just put that on myself for not paying as much attention to him. And I'm sorry. Shout out to you. Shout I mean, out to you, Sack. He's definitely putting in the work, of course. But you got to give credit to Wes. He's a very attention-grabbing player, right? He's the one who's going in there, putting out those big sigs that really just draw a lot of attention. And Sack's in the back. He's like, you know what? I'll, I'll play that punish game. I'll wait for those opportunities. Yeah, what a dunk right there. But the turnaround, my goodness. Man, man, good combination. Maybe I'm going to close that one out on that. Okay. Right back at him. Oh, missed that last replay, but they're already into the action. Experience is going to swap over to the Kaya. Does not want the Onyx anymore. We've got Cross Kaya coming out from this red team, and Sack jumps off the left side. I think we're still early in the game, so this might be a clean reset. Okay. Yeah. That I was kind of hurt for a second. At least that's what it was. All right. We had a little disconnect, so we're going to get back into it in a moment. But um, but I think he switched because what I was talking about just a moment ago. I mean, they, they were playing such good defense against his, mm -hmm. his cannon. He couldn't – every hit he made, they made the right dodge to not allow him to combo. He didn't get any combos. He was just landing one hit, and then they'd get away for free. Uh, but he was he was covering a lot of space. He was getting a lot of damage, but damage over time, not that quick damage you normally see from the cannon. So I understand the swap. Yeah, I, I think it goes back to, like, they're a very team combo-centric team, right? Like, game Three, one, they were two, able to get so many one, of those follow-ups, right? Like, those down six from experience following up off of Maid. Uh, but now it's like, well, we kind of have to play a little bit more 1v1-centric, so maybe that's why he wants this Kaya, which, as we've known now, is a pretty solid 1v1 character. Oh, yeah, for sure. 1v1, 2v2, she can do it all, you know what I'm saying? She's got the SIG pack. She's got two great weapons. I mean... I mean, these are super strong weapons. Bow and, and uh, Spear, come on, man. Ooh, didn't hit the Nair there. You saw Maid actually in position for that Blaster's recovery off the Nair, but just slight misstep there coming out from Experience. They do have that damage advantage, but they need to find the stock finishers. Experience comes in. West with the side air actually keeps Sack from getting punished. I wonder if he did that on purpose, right? He pushed them to the left instead of letting him fade out right and get edge guarded, right? That was, that was a really good defensive play. I like it. Oh, but Sack comes down, hits the side air, hits the recovery. Who is going to get the first stock? So many people are hurt, but Wes gets back. Sack with the help, and he hits the dare. South Americans with the lead. Experience makes it a trade. My goodness! Ooh. Experience popping off double dare with the bow to get both of those first stocks out of there. He is holding on to his first one. Three stocks on Experience's side. He's in the air right now. I want to see what he does, if he's going to play it safe or if he's going to apply pressure still. Yeah, I mean, they've got the lead, but can they maintain it? Can they push it? Wes comes in, hits the side air. Maid needs to make sure to not get edge guarded here, and he's going to get onto the stage. Yeah, that was a good job. He was actually doing some great coverage with those blasters. Maid, ooh, doesn't go for the recovery. I thought he was going to go for a recovery punish on the recovery of Sack, but Sack is covering a lot of space. Nice, doing a great job. Tried to get Maid up out of there, not able to land the recovery. The coverage from this blue team, though. They're doing such a good job covering Ooh. high and low. Experience with the weapon tosses, with the down air. Wes 
He's still got a recovery, but experience is covering. He still gets back. How in the world is Wes living? No more is he. He gets caught by the recovery from the uh, from the spear. But how did he hold on on the side of the stage? That was such a sequence from experience. Dude, but Wes, his survivability is insane. That high defense, that movement of the lance. Sack even came down there. You saw him go for the GC downlight to keep this one close because the stock count is even, but made an experience need to win this to take this to game five. Yep, they really need this one, and they're playing well. Made holding on. Oh, oh he Wes. leaped over the side with the neutral light and got dared. I can't believe. I mean, I mean, I don't think he knew he was going to fall downwards. I feel like he was just trying to get him off his homie. But either way, what a play. It's going to work out for the blue team. Keeping this game close. Nice combo for Maine. Besides the dodge, he knew that the wake-up was going to come out of sack. That was good. Yeah, definitely a solid read there from Maine. Didn't convert too much, but just kind of a soul read. Wes with the down air. Both red team members. Experience gets taken out. It's all left to Maine. He needs to clutch this. This man is all alone out here. The homie is no more. He's got blasters, a rough weapon in this situation. Trying to fight his way back on, but Sack was holding him oh. off the dare. Is that going to be it? He's a side air coming out from West. Another one for your troubles into the same taunt. These guys are coordinated, and that's a dub going for West. And Sack, South America moving forward. Yeah, the South Americans knocking down the top seed, both for North American and for the bracket. Maiden experience now have to make that elimination run.